How many were here last year for Face the File 1? Good for you. Good for you. We're going to have a great time tonight. Wonderful contestants. Here I have a couple Skittles. Skittles. Get a nice sugar high. I hope you all do very well tonight. If you're uh, contestants for Face the File 2, remember, though, closest to the pin my round, you go down. Mo, what's my record? What's my record, Mo? 73 wins, 29 losses. That's 73 wins. So don't worry about anything until you get up on stage with me for closest to the pin, then you're out of here. Anyway, congratulations, everybody. Thank you for helping out. Thank you for helping out Gift for, uh, Gift for Teaching. And without further ado, let's get Face the File 2 underway. Your master of ceremonies, Jack Bradshaw. Big hand for Jack. And please keep it going for my co-host this evening, the lovely Michael Wongzi, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you. Don't you look... Oh, Christ, like I'm not big enough in real life. Jesus Christ. Whose idea was it to have this in the middle of gay days? By... By community mandate, Doug and I are supposed to be terrorizing children in the Magic Kingdom right now. We have had to pull ourselves away from all the festivities. But we're glad you're here and your children are home unprotected. Ladies and gentlemen, a quick overview of how the game works this evening as we took all our games on the Phillips file and we brought them to the stage tonight. We actually begin with our Friday game of So You Want a Winner. And our 10 contestants will come to the stage, each with a dry erase board in front of them, and they will have to answer a true-false question. They will then reveal their answer. If they are right, they get to stick around. If they are wrong, we show them the door. And you may not keep the dry erase board, so don't even think about it. It's not in the budget. But everyone who comes on stage to play in one of our games does receive a prize. We have the lovely Stephanie and Mom over there hanging out. They'll get a Face the File 2 t-shirt. Oh. And a drink card. Oh. Yeah. I, and I have lots of drink cards to give away between games for the people who did not get selected to come down front. That's true. So the winners, the people who move on, then will have to go through the gauntlet of listener-created games. And it begins with Doug's Trivia. Then we go to the five-minute professor. Then who's the smarty? And finally, Todd's top ten. After that, four people emerge. And they, oh, all the people who lose that get a $25 gift card, the T-shirt, and a drink coupon. Mm -hmm. But they get to uh, the $25 gift card for some of the fine restaurants here at Universal right. City Walk. Mm -hmm. And if you meet me in the red room after the show, you may get something a little extra, too. You know, just saying. He ain't lying about that either. Speaking of which. This little 18-year-old intern over here, look at him on the... It's, look out there, honey. Is he not cuter than Christ on the cross? He, he was at the live broadcast from the Parliament House yesterday morning. He's following me now. He's sweet. So the four people who are victorious through the gauntlet will then get to face the file in closest to the pin. And they will get to play each member of the Phillips file in closest to the pin. Three of those people move on for our final game, which is person, place, or thing, PPT, at the podiums. We're, li we're lost. Just start, honey. We can't keep up with all this. Just, honestly. So with that said. The hell is he going on about? Let's begin. So you want to win a winner. We'd like our 10 contestants to come up the stairs up here. C Lane, if you will. C Lane will now draw the next 10 contestants to have a seat in the front row right here. And now the greatest game show ever. Do you want to win the hokiest corn ball? Where'd C Lane go? The bar? C Lane, we need you. Right to the end of the stage. How are you, Allie? Good. How are you doing? I'm just too good for words. If you can, slide all the way over. We need to fit 10 across up here. We will begin with a round of true-false. Ladies and gentlemen, true, contestants, false. please write on your dry erase board. 
clean that off, sir. What's that, a commercial? All right, clean it off. Here we go. First of all, do you all speak English? Yeah. Everyone speaks English? All right. Here we go. True or false? Please put the, uh, what you think is the correct answer on your dry erase board. Dave Matthews, C Lane's favorite, Dave Matthews, relocated to the United States to avoid service in the South African military. Is that true or false? And please, ladies and gentlemen, please do not shout out the answers. And please Is it write, true or false? And please write a brief true just, or false. A brief explanation of why you wrote true or false. Just a paragraph or so. Yeah. True or, does everyone have their answer? On the count of three, please reveal your answer Hurry to up. the audience. One, two, three. Oh. Do we have some people with true? Like two. Do we have some people with false? Many. Everyone with false, take a big step forward. Everyone with false, turn to your left. Oh. Everyone with false, please leave the stage. Oh. It is true. Oh. Will you put that back on your seat, okay? I could give that to someone down there. Pass the boards down here. She's going to pass them down. Give them to the people in the front row as you leave, please. They're no longer yours. All How right. many people? We have three left? So sorry for your Two bad luck, oh Mark. Oh, my God. I know. Right here, to the people in the first row, give them back. They'll pass them down. Now, Sorry, you have to give up your boards. All right. Uh. Tammy and Deborah. We're supposed to go through a spelling round yes. and a quotes round. <laughs> but everyone was so well, dumb. But we want to get down to like about four people. Right. Ladies and gentlemen, at this time, welcome their lifeline, Eddie the Shaman. Mm -hmm. Eddie, Thank you, dear. we don't want to lose anyone else from round one here, okay? Okay. Here's your spelling word. All right. Spell cat. Cat. Did you, Meow. Did you use it in a sentence? When I get home, I like to kick the neighbor's cat. <laughs> C-A-T. Ladies, I, is that true or false? True. All right, Eddie. Thank you very much. It's union, we have to use them. We got some smarties now. Ladies and gentlemen, ladies, you don't even need to go to the quote, quote round. You move on. Please have a seat right here. We're gonna keep your boards. Put your marker, uh, we need the board. Right down here. Congratulations, signing. Deborah. Congratulations, Tammy. Uh, they move on. C Lane, come back uh, to the stage. Have a seat right up front. All right, ladies and oh gentlemen, here we go. Our true and false round oh. for Sell You Wanna Winna. Give these contestants a hand. They made it up here. Well, that was easy, Jack. Yeah. Yeah, simple as pie. That went real smooth. Much better than rehearsal. <laughs> All right, ladies and gentlemen, on your dry erase board, write true or false to the following statement. Please don't shout out the answer. A coffee tree yields about one pound of coffee per month. A coffee tree yields about one pound of coffee per month. Is mm -hmm. that true or false? Mm -hmm. Here in the great a coffee state of Florida, you should have no... A coffee tree yields about one pound of coffee per month. Is that true or false? Does everyone oh, no. have their answer? Please reveal your answer to the audience. Got a nice smattering of, oh, just. Everyone. Except one. Two. Two. You got two trues, Jack. Two trues? Step forward, two trues. You played last year, sir. You yeah. are our champion. He won from last, last year. year. He's our grand champion. Give him a round of applause because he will not be winning tonight, ladies and gentlemen. Uh. Say goodbye. Sorry, sir. Say goodbye. You want to hand that right down here? It's oh, false. Sorry to see you go so Chris, soon. if you could grab those dry erase boards right on the way down, bring them around to our crowd. 
A coffee tree actually uses about one pound of coffee per year. Per year. All right, we're going to do another true false. Are you ready? The board's clear. The longest river in the world is the Amazon in South America. Is that true or false? The longest river in the world is the Amazon in South America. True or false. True or false. Shh. Don't yell it out. We will still have the Universal Express player of the night, which we will draw, which can jump, skip ahead this round, and it could be you, yes. sir. And there's okay. a good chance it won't be, sir. Okay, the longest river in the world is the Amazon in South America. Please reveal your answers, ladies and gentlemen. All right, Three everyone... Trees. Everyone with false on their board, please step forward. The correct answer is the Nile is the longest river. You guys are safe. Everyone with true, oh, right thank this you for way, playing. Young lady. Please exit stage left. This way, please. Thank you. Be careful. Hand your board in right down here. Eddie the Shaman, your cosmic lifeline, please come to the stage. Here we go. There. All right. You should have blessed this audience before we started. Ah! <laughs> Smell like sagebrush. Wood and smegma. I finally gave Wanzi some wood. Oh. That's hot. Okay, here we go, ladies and gentlemen. Let's move on, shall we? It's a spelling round. Eddie will have to spell a word. The contestants will have to decide is that true or false on his spelling. So, Eddie, if you would uh, get uh, much closer to Michael Wanzi and into his mic, I would like you to spell so the contestants can hear you. Tyrannosaurus Rex. It's a star of the Jurassic Park River Adventure. It's the T-Rex. Spell Tyrannosaurus Rex. Tyrannosaurus Rex, capital T. 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 A. T, no. T. Y. R. A. N. N O U S A U R U S, capital R E X. Is that right or wrong? Did Eddie spell it right? Wrong. Okay, right or wrong is fine. True or false, either way. Flip it around. Anyone? Oh, no one's going out on the. Well, no one no thinks believers. he's right. Uh, you guys are right, Eddie. That was way off. Oh. All right, try it up. We'll give you another one. I'll give you something easier. All right. Eddie, spell Beijing. 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 Cap listen up, ladies and gentlemen. Listen up. Capital B E I J E N G. Beijing. Is that true or false? Be true or false? Beijing. Right or wrong? Is there an A? False. What do we have? False, false, false. True. Come on, man. Come on, man. I'm sorry, sir. Jeff, he is way wrong. Oh. You missed the letter. It's I-N-G, not E-N-G. Jeff, thank you for playing. If you could bring your board with you. All right, we're moving on to quotes. Ready? Eddie. All right. Ready when you are, sir. Eddie, you're a lifeline here. Here's the deal. I'm going to give you a quote. I'm going to give you three choices, A, B, or C. You write down A, B, or C on your board, okay? Yeah. You should have been in the first round. <laughs> oh, see, that, that baby, that's you. <laughs> Name the universal ride where you hear this quote, okay? Name the universal ride where you hear this quote. Time to see what you're made of. 
Oh, and that red button, don't even dream of pushing it. Is that A, for Revenge of the Mummy, B, for Terminator 2, or C, for Men in Black? A, for Revenge of the Mummy, B, for Terminator 2, or C, for Men in Black? Time to see what you're made of. Oh, and that red button, don't even dream of pushing it. A for Revenge of the Mummy, B for Terminator 2, or C for Men in Black? A, B, or C? Everyone have an answer? Reveal. Everyone's right, it's C. All right, clear your boards. Here's another one. A penny saved is a penny earned. A, Abraham Lincoln. B, Benjamin Franklin. C, Theodore Roosevelt. And please don't shout out the answer, otherwise this will be a very long evening. A for Abraham Lincoln, B for Benjamin Franklin, C for Teddy Roosevelt. A penny saved uh, is a penny earned. I thought for Please sure reveal your answer. Moira, wasn't it Moira who said that? All right, we have, who thinks it's B, Benjamin Franklin? <laughs> who thinks it's C, Teddy Roosevelt? You people are wrong, and ladies, so are you. Sorry, C's got to leave. And the other two, please have a seat. All right, the next, our final 10 contestants, please come to the stage. Namaste, brothers and sisters. Namaste. Oh, and uh, by the way, Jack, it's Robert's birthday. Everyone say happy birthday, We need all Robert. the dry erase boards on stage, please. All the dry erase boards on stage. Someone in this section right here, just this section right here, tell me from what movie is Mel's driving designed after? Here, just this section, got it right here. Here's a free drink for you. Yep. We'll do this section at a time, I only have one eye. No, you're not supposed to answer that. She's already writing on her board. Eddie, please stop that. Eddie. Please stop assaulting the guests. All right, here we go, true and false. Everyone ready? Everyone have a dry erase board. Marker, rag, here we go. True or false, on this day, on this very day, June 2nd, 1945, George Herman, Babe Ruth, announced that he was retiring from baseball. Is that true or false? On this very day in 1945, Babe Ruth announced he was retiring from baseball. Is that true or false? Everyone have an answer. Please reveal your answer. How many trues do we have? Raise your hand high if you have true. We want to thank you for coming tonight. I'm sorry that is false. We're going to skip right to the quotes because I can't take Eddie trying to spell another word. Jack, we're not calling any more people from the audience, are we? The answer to that is yes, but if you're asking about the front row, yeah. it's open. It's open, right. Thank you. Now if you want to come back and claim your nasty ass seat, you can. Here you go, A, B, or C for your quote. Ready, here we go, A, B, or C. The quote, obviously I could do reality TV for the rest of my life. Who said that? A, was it Donald Trump? B, Howie Mandel? Or C, Snooky? What do you think, Eddie? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Eddie thinks it's Snooky. He is your cosmic lifeline. 
Look at the guy in the black t-shirt. He has no idea what the fuck you're talking about. And Come on, Peter. I'll give it to is. you one more time. Here's the quote. Obviously, I could do reality TV for the rest of my life. A for Donald Trump. B for Howie Mandel, C for Snooki. Who said it? A, B, or C. Let's reveal. Everyone with C on your board, please have a seat because you get to advance to the next round. Peter, thank you very much. You shouldn't have listened to the guy who yelled Donald Trump. Right.